Well, hello there. Hey, gang. How are you? Welcome to another fantastic installment of Come Inside My Mind. Hi. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the International Steampunk Symposium. And I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about that and touch on something that was in a panel that I was on there that uh, seemed very relevant today. And then I'm gonna give you a really quick review of an RPG and um, probably bitch a little. Just a little. Um, the convention was amazing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, sold all the books that we brought up, uh, except for two, two copies of Six Gun Tarot, which um, I gave to my wonderful friends, Greg and Krista, uh, for a charity event that they have uh, later on this year. And I'll probably go into some more about that. I'm going to try to see if I can get Greg and Krista on the show um, to talk some because uh, they do amazing stuff. Uh, Krista writes uh, short fiction and is a journalist. And Greg also writes short fiction, if I'm not mistaken, and does theater. They both do theater, actually. And Greg is actually actively writing um, several theater pieces. He's written musicals and other types of theater. Um, he just finished a, uh, a play based on the great clown riots um, of history. <laughs> And apparently there was there was a clown riot in history, which is a, which if you understand me, it, it, mwah, that's just the man is just a walking encyclopedia of weird history, and I adore him and her. They are both amazing. Um, the convention was great. Met a lot of really cool people. I hope some of them end up popping up on here, uh, but we will see. Um, and certainly invited them to and uh headed home with my buddy dave we stopped at jungle gems in cincinnati which we were right down the street from it and jungle gems is like if willy wonka opened a walmart super center and was married to a kia i i, I don't it's just um, if you're on my Facebook page, you can look at the pictures um, of it. Uh, it's just amazing. It's like an international food grocery store, but it also has a cigar shop and a fine wine shop and every kind of beer you can imagine and a whole section of hot sauces, including like top shelf in all of those CBD store, um, a toy store, um, a candy shop. Uh, and all kinds of bizarre, kitschy little decorations. Like there's a ramen flying saucer and there's uh, in the seafood section, they have a full fucking boat um, suspended above a bunch of those displays. It's just fucking amazing. I found jelly babies there, which made me very happy. And uh, Dave found a great big bunch of red hots uh, I'm sorry, Atomic Fireballs, my bad. Atomic Fireballs for uh, his good lady wife, Susan, who is an editorial goddess and uh, has been the best, most amazing editor I think I've ever worked with. I've, I've worked with some great editors. Um, but Susan is just the, I think, but probably the most thorough um, uh, editor I have ever dealt with. And she is awesome. And she does it for free, which is I'm a lucky guy. So, um, and Dave and Susie are the godparents of my kids, by the way. So they are their family. And it's always good to get to spend time with either of them or both of them. So me and Dave had a good time. Um, I'll be honest with you campers. I didn't really want to do a video tonight. I just got home. It has been a shitastic day but it made me think about something from the weekend that I thought I would share with you guys, especially you little aspiring writers out there in YouTube land. Yes, you. 
Hey there, little buckaroo or buckarette or however you fucking identify, whatever. Um, one of the panels was uh, moderated by a very dear friend of mine, uh, Leanne Hipper, who is an amazing author. Um, I strongly suggest you check out her, her books. Um, and she is also a font of amazing information and historical fun facts. And um, her partner, uh, Tom True Love, is equally as amazing. They're, they're just great. They're good people. They're great people. And Leanna ran the panel, which was about basically like kind of feeding your muse. You know, how do you keep pumped up and excited about writing? And today was one of those days where I needed to kind of remind myself of that. Um, it's just a rough day. It was just grinding. It was raining. Just a lot of things, past, present, future, that are weighing on me today. And uh, as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to write some. And I'm going to go the fuck to bed. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, one of the comforts that I have in my life is writing. When, when shit hits the fan, when things are bad, when it's hard to summon up hope or happiness, the writing is always there. And, uh, there are days when I fucking hate it, but there are also days where I love it. I'm very thankful for it. And regardless of which day it is, as far as that goes, it does help. So try it. I remember when I was writing Six Gun, in my first my first novel. Actually, that's not true. My first novel was called Crusader's Blues, and it is a piece of shit, and it will never see the light of day. It has been buried six feet down. And surrounded by a circle of salt, which I routinely maintain so that its evil fucking presence can never claw its way back to the surface. However, fun fact, first appearance of Jimmy Ossipyle, who shows up later in Brotherhood of the Wheel and King of the Road, and in Nightwise. So there's stuff in there that eventually showed up in other stuff, but P. Yusa, uh, it was an awful, awful uh, novel. But first novel that I sold. Six Gun Tarot, um, I, uh, I would come home from my shitty job. I would open my little mailbox and uh, I would find a, inevitably find a rejection letter for some short story that I'd sent in. And then I'd go upstairs and I'd get to work on the laptop and work on Six Gun. Some nights I might get a paragraph in. Some nights I might get a couple of pages in. Just didn't matter. I was going to finish it. I was going to finish it for me. I had no idea that anyone would ever buy it. I had no idea anyone would ever want to buy it. But it was mine. And it was out of my head, out of this, this head right here. And I was going to see it, see it through. And I'm very thankful I did it. It changed my life. It made my life a hell of a lot better than it ever would have been without it. But there are days. There are days. And this has been one of them. But I'm going to jump into Golgotha 5, The Hanged Man. Get back to work on that. That'll make my publisher happy. <laughs> I'm sure that'll make my publisher happy. And um, I, uh, I don't need to bore you with the details of, of bitching about all the shit that went down today, but it basically was a rough day. Tomorrow will be a better day. And even if it's not, the writing will still be there. Um, I got to have lunch with my daughter this week, which was fucking awesome. It was really great. I'm so proud of her. I got to see my son. I'm so proud of him too. They're, they are great kids. They're not kids anymore. They're grownups. <laughs> They're adults. They're great people. And they both have good hearts and strong wills. 
and whatever the world throws at them, they will not, they may bend, but they're not going to break. And it makes me very proud. And I got to get into this puppy right here. The index card RPG. And I got to tell you something, Mouseketeers. It's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it is a very, um, very uh, minimalist RPG that is fun. It's just fun to read about. I'm really excited to try it out. Maybe I'll give it a shot on my Patreon, which you can join, by the way. You want to join my Patreon, don't you? This is the Patreon you're looking for. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really cool game. I might do more of a, a review of it later, but um, it's just really cool. It's very just kind of like, it's almost like the punk rock of, uh, of RPGs. It's, it's just minimalist. It's like the Minutemen's This Ain't No Picnic. It's just tight and minimal and oh, oh. so uh, I'm digging it. And I can't wait to try it out on some unsuspecting victims. And that's really all I had to, to say. Nothing really profound tonight. But uh, I did want to say thank you to all of y'all. I am very appreciative for you guys. And um, I will see you on the next video. If you uh, like any of the stuff I do, please share the videos. Please like the video. Click on that little bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. And uh, try to have a good night. And if you're not having a good night, grab a scrap of paper or sit down in front of your computer and write. And maybe it'll be a better night. All right, guys. I will see you on the next video. More world building. <laughs> So that'll be fun. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.